Studying the mind is one thing, but using psychology to help people, that's applied psychology. And it hasn't always been pretty. Back in the 1700s and 1800s, private asylums became common, but many weren't helpful or even humane. Mental illness was wrongly seen as a moral failing, and people were often locked away just to hide them. Coercion, isolation, neglect, that was treatment. But reformers like Dorothea Dix and institutions like McLean Hospital fought to change that, inspired by moral treatment ideas from England. Fast forward to the mid-1900s. We see deinstitutionalization, closing asylums, shifting care to communities. Sounds good, until funding was cut. By the 1980s, many facilities had shut down. People who needed long-term care often ended up in nursing homes, shelters, or prisons. A crisis called transinstitutionalization. The big question remains, how do we best care for the most vulnerable? Applied psychology is still trying to answer that.